Hey guys, welcome back. Today I decided, you know what? I have all this food here. Okay, well not all this food, but I have food that I actually really want to show you guys. Some of the snacks that I have. And it's one of the big things I, I get asked on my Instagram, my Facebook. What do you eat? So this isn't really a rundown of everything I eat, but it is a few of the main sort of snacks that I go to. And I'm not talking cucumber sticks or, you know, uh, peppers, like veggies, which I snack on all the time because, you know, when you're at, at the end of the day and you have very few macros left, cucumbers are your friend. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like the more fun snacks that are decently macro friendly that I tend to go to time and time again. First things first, though, I just got home from work and I'm heading to the gym in about an hour. So I'm actually having this protein shake. Uh, well, it's not really a shake. It's just protein that I blended with water and ice. It's good. Um, hence the reason I'm just drinking it like this. And yes, I actually just drink my shake straight from the blender. Why not? Um, this one, I'm just trying out. I uh, bought a brand new. I have a big bag. It's uh, by Iron Vegan. I just heard about it. It's really, really good. I'm going to do a full review on a bunch of different vegan protein powders soon to see how they stack up nutritionally, price-wise, taste, texture, all that kind of stuff. That's coming soon. I want to try a you know, I, I want to give it a fair trial because Vega is the one I use the most often. So I'm going to this one. Not going to lie, though, just for like sheer drinkability. Um, I, I'm really liking this one a lot. The first couple of days I was like, I don't know, because it's, it's different. But I, I really like it. So um, let me see. I am I'm, I'm going to let me see two minutes. So I, I don't want to ramble too much and I will cover this in another video. But I might as well give you a quick update. I am just under eight weeks out from my show. I feel good, I feel strong, um, but I'm definitely noticing that I'm starting to get a little leaner, which is nice because, you know, progress. <laughs> um, but no, like my training's been going really, really well. I am not killing myself with my diet or my exercise, I'm just doing a sort of balance, but I am seeing changes every week in my body, which is really nice. Um, anyone that has ever competed, you know, or, or in general, I mean, if you have a goal and you're not seeing any sort of changes, any kind of progress, it's really frustrating and you don't want to stick with it. So boom, uh, it's good. Um, definitely for me, I can tell because my upper body begins to lean out a bit. So uh, seeing like the back muscles and whatnot, that's how I can tell. So without further ado, snacks, which by the way, is pretty much my favorite time of day. So... I'm going to call these the Fit Girl Dunkaroos. They are these um, little mini crackers. They These ones are gram style, but they are gluten-free and vegan, so it's not real gram. But um, let me see. I'll show you what they look like. They're shapes. So, again, you know, I'm a kid. I Essentially, I love these. Per serving, um, which is 30 grams, approximately 22 of these little biscuits. 130 calories, 6 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, 1 gram of pr uh, protein. But I will, what I will do with these is I will measure these out, like I, I put them on the scale, and then I will either dunk them into a tablespoon or two of um, peanut butter, or if I'm feeling extra feisty and I have the macros, I will use this dark chocolate peanut butter so good i actually find this a little sweet so i usually if i'm having two tablespoons i'll use a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of this um because i find this too it's a little sweet for my taste and i actually like dark chocolate or i will add dark chocolate whatever but anyway so like i said it's the fit girl dunkaroo these are super good and by the same company are these crackers so these are mary's organic crackers they are non-GMO, um, just real wholesome ingredients, really good. So these are sweet, a, a cookie. They also make vanilla and chocolate. Um, I haven't tried those, but I'll probably get the cocoa ones next. But these are crackers, so I got the caraway flavor. And same thing, I usually, I mean, I eat them plain. Sometimes I will add um, cucumber on top or tomato or uh, some mashed avocado with salt and pepper, but as of late, I've just been having the little crackers and these, and um, 
30 grams again, so it's about 13 of these crackers. These are a little bigger. Here. And you can see, like, there's this, the flax seeds are right in them. There's sesame and flax seeds right in there. It's actually a lot of different types of seeds. They're really, really good. 21 grams of carbs, 5 fat, 3 protein. It's it's a snack, you know, but like it's a, a snack where you, you really want something different. You want something naughty, but but not, you know. So these are things I have often. I eat a lot of peanut butter. I go through a ton. Uh, let me see. So when I have a sweet tooth and I just need some chocolate, I've been getting these little things here. So it's 70% dark chocolate. Um, per this whole bar, it is 14 grams of fat. 12 carbs, 4 protein. So obviously, you know, I have to like schedule it in and make sure I keep the rest of my fat down for the day so I can fit this in. But one of the reasons I tend to buy the little bar, this like this is perfect. This is great. This completely satisfies a sweet tooth craving. But it's because if I have a large bar, the amount of willpower it takes to just break off a piece and walk away, whew, it's it can be done and I do it. But especially the closer I get to my show, it becomes really, really hard. So having this, I can take it, I can eat the whole thing. There's something weird. There's something about just eating the entire thing that's just like, okay, I feel good now. So I just eat the entire thing and then I'm, I'm good. Um, let me see what else. Popcorn. I make my own popcorn. I don't have an air popper, but I make it on the stove. But sometimes, yes, I use a microwave. I will make these mini bags. They're actually pretty, pretty small. But it's a good snack when you want sort of a salty, crunchy snack. Um, so in the evenings, once in a while, we're watching TV or reading or something, and this is really good. No butter. It's just a little bit of oil and a little salt. Um, this isn't really a snack, but it's something I have as a snack because it's sweet. It is um, Nature's Path Organic Instant Oatmeal. I never eat instant oatmeal because I find the texture is disgusting, but I actually like this. I also keep these in my bag for, um, you know, emergencies. I mean, I don't eat it dry, but I can make this in the office really quickly. Um, once in a while, I do forget my lunch, so it happens. But this is maple nut, and uh, so I'll just make it quickly. I'll pour the boiling water on it, throw it in the microwave, and uh, have it with a little bit of soy milk. And it's carbs, it's sweets. I love oatmeal. I could eat oatmeal for every single meal, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a weird obsession. I love it. I really do. With berries, with maple, with nuts, whatever. But this one's really, really, really good. I think that's, oh, last but not least, I used to be a huge pop drinker in college. I mean, my mom would not be impressed if she knew the amount of Pepsi that I consumed. But those days are over. And I'm not, it's not something I miss. And for the most part, I don't, like, I love water. You know, I drink protein shakes. I'll have kombucha sometimes. But I, I, I just have a lot of, like, I don't mind, like, um, simple drinks. But once in a while, I do want something, you know, a little, a little fancy. I drink a lot of iced coffee or iced tea. And I usually make it myself. But this brand here, Stees, um, they make uh, iced tea that's been sweetened with stevia. So this one, it is peach mango. It's really good. They also have a plain lemon uh, iced tea. They're honestly, they're they're pretty good. I mean, you know, like I said, I usually make my own and just I'll just make a, a fruit tea and drink it like that, like um, iced. But this this is good. Um, I I often like get it for a little treat or if I'm traveling or something. They also make an energy drink, but <laughs> we want to talk about those because uh, I probably shouldn't be having those. But um, again, vegan, gluten-free, you know, all that jazz. So this is a lot. These are my like my top snacks. Um, I also, I forgot rice cakes. Um, I do eat rice cakes with peanut butter. It's actually, it's almost every single day, um, unless I'm having this like in the evening, almost every single day I save um, a tablespoon of peanut butter and two rice cakes to have before bed. I sleep so much better that way. Just a little bit of carbs before bed. And it's also like, I, I just, I don't know if it's mental. It probably is, but I tend to be a little peckish in the evening and I just, I need something. Um, so yeah, the rice cakes, because it's like, you know, rice cake is approximately this big. So it's like the, the, the idea that I'm having a, a, a large snack, you know, it, it just tends to like satisfy me a little more and like a large mug of tea or something. 
So um, yeah, that's some of the snacks that I have. I hope you found this video helpful. I, of course I eat more than just these for snacks. I mean, as long as I can make it fit my macros, I can have it. It's just, these are my, my main go-tos um, because I love them and you know, they last well. And I mean, they, they travel well. I can take them in my gym bag or whatnot. Um, and again, as much as like, uh, something I guess I feel like I should say, yes, I, I believe in flexible dieting, but that doesn't mean that I want to put a ton of shit into my body. So I, I mean, I eat gluten-free, I eat vegan. I buy organic when I can. I don't consume artificial flavorings if I, if I can avoid it or a lot of, a lot of super processed foods. I mean, I'm sure there are some of you out there that think this is too processed, but for me, like this is like the, the healthier end of a cookie, you know? Um, I don't eat uh, like aspartame or those fake sugars if I can avoid it. Um, I, I do honestly, like as much as I want balance and I want treats, I want ice cream, I want cake, I want to put the most natural ingredients that I can within reason into my body. So no shit here, all right? I don't like that kind of stuff. And to be honest, um, looking back, like in college, <laughs> I'll reference that again, like I used to eat a ton of Oreos. No, I'm not against Oreos. I actually can't eat them now, but I used to eat a ton of Oreos and McCain Deep and Delicious Chocolate Cake. Uh, my sister and I would get a large one. <laughs> I'm not proud of this. We'd half it down the middle, and while we watched TV, we would just sit and eat half a cake. The last time, like this would have been a few years ago before I realized I couldn't have gluten, I bought a cake and just a mini one. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have some cake. And I took a bite and I was like, oh my God, this actually tastes like chemicals. It tastes so processed. It's not even processed. It tastes, I don't know, like it's the difference between having gourmet mac and cheese and KD. I mean, if you like KD, that's cool, but there is a whole world of much better food out there. So for me, I find that when foods are made cleaner, not even cleaner, just with better ingredients, it tastes so much better and your body can digest it better. Some people don't feel that way. I mean, you know, Pop-Tarts every day, that's cool. I've actually never had a Pop-Tart. Now I got off on a weird rant, but anyhow, this is what I eat um, most of the time. And uh, as that list changes, as my macros change and things decrease over time, I'll let you know what I'm having. I mean, again, a lot of cucumbers. <laughs> so I'm going to get changed for the gym, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to list some information down below. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, Twitter. I will put that all down there. Lots of original stuff. I post a lot of videos on Snapchat. So, you know, if you want a little of this, clearly you do. Okay. I should probably stop now. <laughs> Bye, everyone.